let's say that we want to create a rule that silently, we don't want it to fire offenses, but silently will grab any one of these two events when somebody has accessed the system on an emergency and put the full name of the individual on a reference set. So, in, for example, if we open this event here, we see that uh, the full name, Julie, okay, or you can actually put the user ID, whatever you, you, you think it is appropriate. I want that to be on a reference set. And may, maybe you can also have another rule later that when the user, after a certain period of time or the credential has been revoked, uh, th gets taken out of the list. And the other one is uh, this one, we should have that parameter full name. Now, how do we need to go about that? Well, the first thing is that because we're going to be using this uh, custom property, the property needs to be optimized for uh, be used into the rules, as you probably know already. So to do that, we go to the admin tab under the events, we go into custom event properties, and we look here for full name. We click here, search, and we of course find several of them, but the one that we are working on these log sources for C Secure Alert. So, if we click on that one, we have that option, and I already have this. Uh, you can do this at the extraction time, or if you don't have it, but you need to make sure that, that you have that enabled. And I did this when I was doing testing before. Uh, if not, you need to actually do that. So, that part is done. Then the rest is easy. So let's go into the, well, let's go into offenses. We go here on the rules. We go here in the action and we're going to create a new event rule. Uh, we're going to put a name populate reference set with emergency access. Now, and let's do it the simplest way. Well, we know the QID for those events, and if you don't uh, know how to get that, and this is part of another video, you, you go open the event and click here, map event, and you're gonna find the QID there, right? So let's go back here and say when and type here QID. There's only one entry. And we are gonna be putting the QID of those two events, which I know which those are because I was testing this before. This is one and it system finds two. This is the one that we want. We click here at and gets put underneath here. And now the other one is the next number over, and it's this one. We click here at, and we have the two of them. We click submit, and we have that done. And that's a simple test condition for this rule to fire. We click onto the next page. We don't want to fire offense. We don't do any noise, uh, any any stuff. What we're going to add that to a reference. Oops, not that reference data from reference set. What is the property that we want to add? Uh, it was called uh, full name, right? So let's scroll up here, or we can type and the system will find it for us. But uh, we should have here full name. Here it is, right? And we want to add that to where? To a reference set. One thing that I forgot, of course, is to create the reference set. It's going to be empty, but we need to create it first. So let's actually, to do that, we use the free and good reference data management app. We go on the reference sets here. It's like this. So, so we click here on reference set and say create new. And we're going to call this uh, emergency access use is to give it a name 
it is alphanumeric and we're going to give it a time to live of you know and you decide here for how long you you can actually make it uh, forever as well right but let's say that we are going to give it uh, three months we create that reference it now let's go back to our rule here and we now should have let's click here refresh to make sure that I get the latest version of it so here under the E I should have emergency access use there it is and that is it is enable we click next we click uh, finished and when we replay those uh, logs we should have the entries added into the reference set so let's go back here real time and replay the logs and we see them being replayed here So we go to the reference data management app on the reference sets. We search for emergency. Yeah, there is, and there's a user, Yuli, which actually the that was her uh, name. Our great friend Yuli Bird was the one that was shown on those two events uh, that she used credential uh, emergency access. And notice that the name is not repeated; it's only one entry for it. And you can use this in other rules or, or graph or any other logic that you want to use to monitor the use of emergency access.